Hi, this is TeacherTrent.com and I have a mnemonic method for you to remember the organelles of a eukaryotic animal cell. And so, the way I look at it is this. Our cells really don't use the same language as we do. It's very similar though. However, they don't know how to use one, uh, one of the vowels, A. So, what we're looking at here is our mnemonic method. Please remember it's not a for real uh, word, but it's a mnemonic method for you to remember the organelles of a eukaryotic animal cell. I am going to be saying leg cramp, but our cells do not say leg cramp. They say something else. And I have a story for this. And my story is this. So I was working out the other day. Keep in mind, I am a 46-year-old man. So it takes a lot of effort for me, and the body takes a long time to recover. A long time to recover. So, I was working out, I actually worked out for an hour and a half on, on my treadmill, and I went ahead, after that, went to, went to bed, went to sleep. Well, lo and behold, at about 3 o'clock in the morning, I wake up in the morning and go, Oh, I got a leg cramp! Oh, I got a leg cramp! I got a leg cramp! Please say leg crimp. Leg crimp. I got a leg cramp! I got a leg crimp, is what my cells were saying. I say leg cramp, my cells' bodies say leg crimp. So, the cramp went away, or the leg crimp went away. So, I went back to sleep, and guess what? About 5 o'clock in the morning, oh, it happened again. Oh, I got a leg crimp! I got a leg crimp! Oh, I got a light cramp. My cells are, body cells are saying, I got a light crimp. So, please say light crimp. These are the organelles for a eukaryotic animal cell. Organelles for a eukaryotic animal cell. At least some of the organelles. Now, when I say the uh, letter and the word, please repeat after me. Light crimp. L E G C R M N P light crimp. L E G C R M N P light crimp. L E G C R M N P light crimp. One more time. Light crimp. L E G C R M N P light crimp. Now go ahead and uh, spell. I'll uh, write down light crimp on your piece of paper. Just write it down at least one time. I prefer at least three. Now that you've written that down, what we're going to be going ahead and take a look at is we're going to go through each one of these names. Please say it like I do. Uh, some of the uh, organelles' names, I'm saying a little bit differently just so that we remember it and then the correct way will be coming along later. However, here we go. L lysosome e endoplasmic reticulum remember repeat after me g go go golgi complex c cytoplasm r ribosome please make sure that you do the uh, hand and arm motions as well ribosome m mighty mitochondria n nucleus P, plasma membrane. All right, let's go through it again. L, lysosome. E, endoplasmic reticulum. G, go, go, Golgi complex. C, cytoplasm. R, ribosome. M, mighty mitochondria. N, nucleus. P, Plasma membrane. One more time. L. Lysosome. E. Endoplasmic reticulum. G. Go, go, go to complex. C. Cytoplasm. R. Ribosome. M. Mighty mitochondria. N. Nucleus. P. Plasma membrane. All right, let's go through our mnemonic method again. Please say leg crimp. L-E-G-C-R-M-N-P, 
lycrim. Let's go through it. L, lysosome. E, endoplasmic reticulum. <coughs> G, go, go, Golgi complex. C, cytoplasm. R, ribosome. M, mighty mitochondria. N, nucleus. P, plasma membrane. All right, who thinks that they can come on up to the board and do this right now without looking? Those well, students up to the board and they actually get into a big old contest to see who uh, typically, uh, get, uh, typically get into a big old contest to see who can do this first and best and fastest and whatever. All right, now there are two parts of the endoplasmic reticulum that we have to take a look at. So let me make sure that you can see that. Now you can. All right. So now, what we're looking at here is endoplasmic reticulum. There's a smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and there's a rough endoplasmic reticulum. We're going to call the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, just endoplasmic reticulum is going to be referenced as ER from now on. Alright, so now, when you go through and teach them this, they are also responsible for this part. We're going to say endoplasmic reticulum, smooth ER. Then for rough, rough ER. And I'm gonna go ahead and go say smooth ER a bunch of times and then rough ER. So please repeat after me. Smooth ER. Rough ER. Smooth ER. Rough ER. Smooth ER. Rough ER. And even just a kind of a fun thing right at the end of the hour, just please go ahead and start to say rough ER uh, to the person next to you and keep on saying it for at least a minute. They love barking at each other. I don't know. I guess it's fun. Roof, roof. Say it's fun. Here are some more organelles for a, a eukaryotic animal cell. My pneumatic, mnemonic method here is very new city. VNC, very new city. And typically I don't have to go over uh, this with them very much because we've been doing mnemonic methods uh, for a while uh, with other things as well. Uh, but very new city, it works out pretty good. So please repeat after me, very new city. V, very. N, new. C, city. Very new city. The V stands for vesicle, N stands for nucleolus, and the C stands for cytoskeleton. I wonder what the cytoskeleton does. I wonder what the skeleton of our body does. I wonder what the skeleton does it, uh, for our cells. Yeah, it gives us support. So, these are the organelles for a eukaryotic animal cell. At least the, the, the vast majority of them for an animal cell. Um, what I do then is I have my students go ahead and do little skits and plays. Uh, for, for instance, the lysosome is a very easy one. It digests uh, worn out organelles and garbage. So I go ahead and have them do a play. This is a very simple play. Lysosome's not up here. Remember, it's, very, it's light crimp and very new city for all the organelles of a eukaryotic animal cell. So you have L-E-G-C-R-M-N-P and V-N-C. So you have lysosome, endoplasmic particular, both the smooth and the rough ER. Go, go, Golgi complex, cytoplasm, ribosome, mitochondria, nucleus, plasma membrane, vesicle, nucleolus, and cytoskeleton. For each one of those, I have them do a play. I'm going to do lysosome. It's just so easy. So a lysosome digest or garbage and worn out organelles. How it does it, it has a pH of, uh oh, I think it's pH of 5 acid. Not exactly sure. Don't remember off the top of my head right now. But it has a pH of 5 acids. So lysosome. I am a piece of garbage, okay? And, oh no, the nucleus has just sent a lysosome over to digest me. Oh no, it's digesting me. I'm melting, 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 melted. From the lysosome with a pH of 5 acid. Thank you. Hi, these are the organelles for eukaryotic plant cell. Uh, you'll see that we have chloroplast, vacuole, and cell wall. 
and it is the plant cell. These are just three of the uh, organelles. We have all the others, the light crump and the very new. So we have a plant cell has lysosomes, endoplasm, reticulum, Golgi complex, cytoplasm, ribosomes, mitochondria, nucleus, plasma membrane, vesicle, and nucleolus. No cytoskeleton. There is no cytoskeleton. There is no cytoskeleton. <coughs> Do I have to say it again? I will. No cytoskeleton in the plant cell. There isn't because the cell wall provides the strength and the support. The strength and the support. Ah, uh, because the cell wall provides the strength and the support for the plant cell. Cytoskeleton does that for the animal cell. So we don't need cytoskeleton for the plant cell. You with me? All right. So my mnemonic method for this is chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. All right, my favorite Sunday. What can I say? Uh, just a little chunky, and it definitely shows I'm here in Wisconsin and love that custard, chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. Let me tell you how good it is. It is delicious. So, anyway, I got off on a tangent. I was talking about food. I want you to remember it's chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. I'm not trying to get you hungry. No, it's a delicious, delicious dessert, or it can be used as a delicious meal. I know, I'm a teacher. I shouldn't be talking like that, but it's a delicious meal. Believe me, it has more than enough calories to take care of a dinner requirement. Did I say it's delicious? All right. Chocolate, vanilla, caramel. Please repeat after me. CVC. Chocolate, vanilla, caramel. CVC. Chocolate, vanilla, caramel. Oh, sounds delicious. All right. C. Chloroplast. V. Vacuole. C. Cell wall. C. Chloroplast. V vacuole, C cell wall. Organelles for eukaryotic plant cell and light crimp and very new. Remember, no cytoskeleton. So, there we go. Thank you very much. Did I tell you that chocolate, vanilla, and caramel is a delicious dessert or dinner? I did, good.